Gemini official is coming back to TikTok. Yes, you heard that correctly. The child predator who literally used his platform to go after underage girls multiple times and got exposed for it and got his TikTok account banned is now coming back to the platform. If any of you guys are new and you don't know who this guy is or like you want to know what he did, just type his name on YouTube and watch the videos. There's plenty of videos talking about the situation. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, I mean, hmm. Maybe he deserves a second chance, right? I mean, he apologized. But did he? Did he really though? Just recently, he uploaded to his Snapchat this update about his situation, which is how we know he's coming back. Hey guys, couple things. Yes, I am okay. Been getting mental help and healing. You know, the typical mental health, just to throw that in there before we even read anything to, to garner some sympathy points, you know. But hey, maybe he, he has been getting mental health help. You know, maybe he has, maybe he has. Two. Stop asking why I'm not gone, LMAO. If I actually did something, I would have been incarcerated months ago, if not by now. If I actually did something, if? Basically, I got with this girl and she's 15 years old. Now, I do wanna say that I really didn't know that she was 15 when I got with her, but I paid for her Uber, she came and hang out with me, we got with each other and that was a situation. After the fact, I found out that she was 15 and I still kept talking to her. So much so that I asked to FaceTime fuck, which is completely disgusting. No, 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 I, that must have been a dream or something. I must have just made that up one day, I, I, I guess. Maybe I'm just tripping. If I actually did something wrong. You see, this man does not see a single issue with what he has done. He does not take any accountability whatsoever for the fact that he quite literally is a or was a child predator. Still probably is because he doesn't see anything wrong with it. But, bro, nigga, you a pedophile. There's no other way to put it, G. You a pedophile. You like the kids' kids. You should be banned from going within a five mile radius of any prep, primary, elementary school, G. You are a pedophile. You like children. Now, you see, most people want to see him cancelled or whatever. Me, personally, I'm a person who believes that even if somebody was a terrible person in the past, they can always change in the future. So, even though he did these extremely disgusting, terrible things, if he actually acknowledged that what he did was wrong and put effort into becoming a better person and then, you know, worked on himself and in the future, then, you know, after he's already taken accountability, if people want to accept him back on the platform, they can. You know, I, I would understand that, right? Because at that point, he would have changed. He wouldn't have been the same person who did that stuff. So, he, wouldn't, he would no longer be a threat to the people on the platform but this man does not acknowledge anything this man thinks it was completely fine that he asked to facetime fuck and other things too i'm not even gonna play those clips number three oh the situation has been resolved the haha legally as i am able to open everything back up and be more interactive so happy that everything went as well as i knew it would everything went well okay four will i be back duh ha <laughs> ha because I didn't sexually go after minors. Just signed some paperwork to allow me back on TikTok, but I ain't gone immediately. Just come back like nothing happened. This man just plans to return out of the blue like nothing happened, G. Because guess what? In his mind, nothing happened. No girls were hurt in the making of this man's pee pee hard. Nothing, nothing happened, you know what I'm saying? Gemini is a creeper. Not because he's a creep, but because he sneaks up on minors. <laughs> Such funny. Lol. <laughs> Every will be explained and stuff. So just keep an eye for the next couple months. Five. I have my old TikTok compilations on my Instagram at the Gemini. If you wanna go follow and watch old memories, haha. <laughs> Typical, you know, strategy of using his fans being like, hey, this guy, you know, kind of, um, kind of flipping sexually went after minors, but. He had some banger content, so hey, it's all fine, you know what I'm saying? It's all cool. As long as he made them bangers, I don't care what he did. Kind of like 6ix9ine in a way, but 6ix9ine, eh, like, uh, I mean, I guess it is the same situation with 6ix9ine, but I'm pretty sure he actually got like, like he served the time or something. Like, didn't he get actually punished for it? So like, either that or he wasn't guilty. I really don't remember the, the, the details of the case, but somehow like people forgot about the whole child 13 year old thing with him, so yeah um excited to get everything going but the right way 
Well, ain't you somebody to be talking about the flipping right way? Alright, bro. Although I am slowly coming back, I am not at all in the clear. And like I said, everything will be explained in due time. Nigga, learn to spell. This is just an update. This man done spend so much time around kids, he started spelling like them. This nigga has no grammar skills whatso flipping ever. Anyways, bro, if this man returns to TikTok, dog, there's no way he go survive in the atmosphere. I'm sorry, dog, but if you, the fact that you can get cancelled on this app for saying the R slur, like, bro, you, you, <laughs> if you can get cancelled for saying the R slur, Imagine what can happen if you actually almost went through with committing the R word if you know what I'm saying You know what I'm saying like you ain't gonna survive these girls these not even the girls the, the, the males the females Nobody is going to let you breathe. You're gonna have to turn off comments for every single post Um, I don't know like maybe you still have like 2% of your fans supporting you I mean, that's how it is with every creator, right? Some of them some of your fans don't care about the allegations, you know I'm sure some people have even deluded themselves into thinking he's innocent, but hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you know, whatever he's doing, hey, I'm intrigued to see how it works out, you know? I don't know what direction this man's life is gonna take next, so I will be keeping an eye out for that. And hopefully he doesn't flipping harass any more minors, you know? Just just to throw that out there. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to get that quick little video out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you did not enjoy this video, I'm just going to want you to leave a fat dislike on this video. Since if I didn't entertain you, I don't deserve your like. But of course, if you did enjoy, remember to obliterate that like button. Subscribe to the channel and support your boy. And yo, it's been your boy, John. And you are now leaving my mind.